My god, what a headache. My good god. <sighs> okay, um, so basically, as you saw, I got the capture card and um, everything just went fucking insane from there. So, first, I was all happy. I set it all up, I connected it all, and first, I was going to try to capture some Sleepy Dogs gameplay on the PS3. So, I set it all up the way it told me to. I changed the component mode and. Absolutely nothing came up. Um, <laughs> so now I was, I was going through the manual saying, check this, check this, check we have all this done, check you have all this crap done, and which I had done, I had everything, single thing done. So I just unplugged everything, plugged it all back in, component cables, everything, mod back in, back of telly, back of capture card, back of arse. And no signal. Blue screen, no signal, like a blue screen of death. And I was like, I was going mad at this point. So then I was looking online and seeing what the hell the problem was. And uh, I found absolutely not. And it's just a load of idiots wondering where the fuck the power button is on the capture card. So yeah, that was useless to me. I tried one more time. It didn't work. I was like, what the fuck? So I took everything out and I had a look at the capture card. The capture card was fine. Everything looked okay. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't think there'd be any problem with the capture card because it's brand new. So I just left out a picture. I then had a look at my PS3, and although I couldn't really notice it, I know the ports in that thing are a piece of shit and they're known for breaking like crap. And it turns out my component port on my PS3 is fucked. So don't expect any PS3 gameplay from me because I can't record the fucking from the component port. So that's out of the question. So then, I'm going to put it up on the screen now, and we're going to see the results of the PS2 test. Actually, before I put the thing up on the screen, I have to well, tell you what happened with the PS2 test first. So I plugged it in, and everything was working. Thank God, the PS2 actually, it was showing up. All of it was like, okay. But it looked like absolute shit. And you're going to see now what the hell it looked like. And I was like... Uh huh? Bah, 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 bah. It's before I start recording, by the way. What you see in here, what, that's recorded already, and you know that looks like crap. Uh, but that this is before I start recording, so just keep that in mind. This is afterwards, and I was testing if it would come out like that in the actual video, which it obviously did. So I was like, fuck that for now, let's just test to see if it actually records right. I wonder if, I, I hope it doesn't come out like this in the recording, <laughs> which it actually did. But um, I, I tried, I pressed the record button to try and record it, and you cannot use this USB stick as the rewrite speed is too slow. So apparently my little USB stick is a piece of shit, and the rewrite speed is terrible on it. <laughs> so now I was like, oh for fuck's sake, don't tell me I'm going to have to buy a hard drive. But then I remembered, you know what, I have an old hard drive in my old PC. The thing is though, it's corrupt. <laughs> and I was like, I, I didn't, it's not in a, it's like a, a bare hard drive with no um, thing to plug it into the laptop to format or anything or to fix it up. And I was like, fuck it, I'll give it a shot. So I just put the corrupt hard drive into the capture card and it worked like charm. And I was like, okay, corrupt hard drives work in capture cards now apparently. A corrupt PC hard drive, so God knows what on it <laughs> works. So I was like, okay, that's weird, but at least it works. And what you're seeing now is I recorded, which looks and sounds like shit. So now I'm going to get back to the components. So obviously it was a component problem with the video quality. And I was like, do, do you see the colors are all wrong. So obviously one of the components or two of the components are are not working properly so I looked I plugged everything in I plugged everything out and it still it still looked the exact same uh, it turns out the red one had a problem the red component um, if for those of you who aren't familiar with component cables there's a red one there's a blue one and there's a green one and they all are different video colors and the red version I mean my red one I cannot talk I'm starting like fuck here but the red one was not working and that was completely fried for some reason, it was just broke. And that is what came with the capture card. Then components are what came with the capture card. And I was like, what the hell? So I took it out and I put in, I have spare components, so that was grand. I put it in and yay, it worked properly. And what you're seeing now is the one that actually worked properly and it looks quite nice. So yeah, I, that was my big pain getting it set up. But I finally have a setup now for a power drive and all. and. Yeah, this is what it looks like.
And yeah, it looks nice. As you can see, a massive improvement to the other piece of shit. So I just stuck with my good old components. Hooray for old stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk you through of what I'm doing here. So I'll just finish this video on a walkthrough and kind of review of the capture card. Well, what you're seeing here is it looks quite nice. And despite all my troubles with it, it's actually very easy to use if your stuff works. You have a little remote control that... Uh, Oh great, I just changed the aspect ratio and I just fucked up the video. Anyway, uh, I'll just fix that in the head and you won't notice that, but... Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's quite easy to use. It comes with a little remote control that you just have everything on it and you don't even have to get up to press record or anything. And you don't need a PC or anything. It's like... The output it outputs from the actual capture card itself to your TV. So it doesn't actually output from the console. And um, from what I see, it does not have any lag or any latency whatsoever. That is what I was worried about, but it didn't. So yeah, it works very nice. And as you can see here, um, I'm able to drive and drag too, like normal. I, I no latency whatsoever. So yeah, it did work very well. And I just crashed there because I'm an idiot. So yeah, and it's just me jacking the boy around and <laughs> get it, get it, jacking around in Jack, um, in Jack Two, my favorite game of all time. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just hit the Crimson Guard and they're after me, kill me. I had no guard track, so I just tried going beast mode on him. Wait, go on. <clears throat> yeah, I don't really know what to say now, so yeah, the, the, the capture card's quite nice actually. Uh, I just hope my hard drive will go because I really don't want to buy a hard drive because I need to buy a camera before I can buy anything else. And cameras are quite expensive, so I'm going to be saving up for like three years for a camera. Um, there's gonna be a pain, and he, I'm just looking around here. Um, I re, I had my raw memory card, and if you're thinking here, so I was looking around for all my stuff. I went into secrets, and I had no secrets. So I was like, ah, I had my raw memory card in. That's I just realized that. I was a bit of an idiot. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna leave you here with some Jack Two gameplay, and I'll see you for some let's plays and stuff. So yeah, Jack says bye, and I say bye. Uh, would I recommend the capture card if you have a hard drive, or if you have a, an external hard drive, or an internal hard drive, or a very good USB flash drive with strong write, write, writing speeds, then yeah, I would. Hell yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching, and good luck.